everyone here knows the singer Rebona and his songs, what's new to them are solar cookers. That's about to change. The village is getting a demonstration in cooking with solar power, rather than with firewood and charcoal. A Swiss development organization is putting on the event. On the menu, fish and zebu beef with vegetables. Okay, let's suppose I put my food in the pot. How would that work with this box here? We'll show you now. What's important is that it's easy to use. You stand next to the cooker, open the lid, put the pot inside, and close the lid. It's all quite novel for the villagers of Belalanda. A few hours earlier, Belalanda, which is located in the southwest of Madagascar, is home to 800 people. One of them is Serafina Fanampi. The cooking demonstration is scheduled for noon, but first she has household chores to do. In the mornings, I drink my coffee. Then I fetch water so that I can start cooking the cassava. Then I have to gather firewood. The cassava feeds her husband, four children, and two grandchildren. Serafina uses three kilos of wood for cooking each day, so now she needs to stock up. That involves walking six kilometers back and forth. In recent years, the route has become longer. The wood should be as dry as possible so that it burns well. But Serafina doesn't have much to choose from. There are no big trees here anymore. You have to walk far for that. At one time, there were trees all around here, but they were all cut down. Now I simply collect what I can find. No wood, no fire. No fire, no food. It's a simple calculation for many people in Madagascar. Gathering wood doesn't cost money. There are those who help themselves and sell it to others. But the result in recent years is large-scale deforestation. After the rainy season, only grass and shrubs grow here. A further problem is increasing charcoal production. For farmers like Robusta Befoli, selling charcoal is often the only way to boost his monthly income. He earns around one euro fifty with the charcoal he makes in a pit. After I chop down the tree, I hack the wood into pieces and put it in small piles on the ground. Then I cover it with grass, light a fire and bury it with dirt. Then I have to wait two weeks before I can take the charcoal out. Toliara is the biggest city in Madagascar's southwest. This is where charcoal from neighboring districts is sold. The fuel is expensive. Most families spend a quarter of their monthly income on it. But old habits die hard. The Swiss development group ADES wants to improve things. Since 2003, it's been operating a workshop on the edge of the city where solar cookers are built. 1,600 of them were sold last year. The goal this year is to sell 2,000. There are high hopes for the latest model. It can not only cook food, but can also bring electricity to remote areas, thanks to two solar panels and an integrated battery. Back in Belalanda, the idea is while the food's cooking, the cookers can help charge mobile phones or provide electricity, which people like Serafina desperately need. Can I charge the light during the day and use it inside at night? No, you have to take the whole thing inside. You can't take it off? 
No, they can't be separated. We've wed them, so to speak. They belong together. There appears to be no radio reception, but there is electricity. The employees of the Swiss organization say there's huge interest in the demonstrations. But solar cooking still hasn't gained wide acceptance, often because people aren't ready to change their habits. The cooker has to be set up correctly. It has to be preheated. You can't put in too much food at one time. All these small details have to be considered. If it works without a glitch, the food tastes great. But if you don't do these things, then it might not work, and the cooker is set aside. That's why it's important to demonstrate that the solar technology works. The meat and vegetables have cooked a solid two hours. It's time to eat. If the food doesn't taste good, then the cookers won't be worthwhile. Serafina is still skeptical. But she thinks it's delicious. The cheapest cooker costs about 11 euros. It's a subsidized price, but still expensive for many. I think the cooker's great, but I can't afford to buy one flat out. If I could pay in installments, I would definitely get one. People seem interested in the solar device. Still, the ADES workers expect that it'll take a while before the eco-friendly cookers really take off.